Hello everybody, uh, Harold here. Well, as far as I know, Gnome of this reality is still a wall. So, I've got the good old MacGuffin machine here, and we're going to attempt to channel in on another reality where he's doing a review for you. Okay, let's see here. <sighs> Oh, holy crap, that was definitely the wrong setting. Eh, let me try again. Hello, Internet, Uka Pros, YouTubes, and the Internet alike. We've just received our winnings, which is a contest winning sort of thing. Sample of Alchemist's Root Beer Float, which is entitled Mr. Mike's Root Beer Float. Now, I was told I needed to get my machete out to open this one, but unfortunately, the machete is in storage, so we're going to have to deal with this. Okay. That, uh, oh, no, the inner package is not quite open. Oh boy, what oh, is good? That is buttery, buttery root beer. It's like the Hogwarts butter beer mixed with root beer. So let's waste no time at all. Let's get this packed up and see how it smokes. Mr. Mike's Root Beer Float by Alchemist. <laughs> It's not, uh, it's not really started yet. It, it's kind of weak on the clouds, but. The flavor is there. The flavor is strong. The flavor is kick you in the teeth as it was when I opened the package. Now, when I opened the package, it was more butter. Now, I think it's more hazel. Uh, not hazel, but hold on. It is unmistakably root beer, but it is a very, not hazel, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Whorehound. A very whorehound tasting root beer. Got a lot of complex spices, but it does have a very nice butteriness. Now, I think that butteriness is intended to be the vanilla of the root beer float. It is a French vanilla. It's very Frenchy. You know how French vanilla is. It's got more of the bean pod flavor. And that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a buttery vanilla with bean pod. Still wispy clouds, but that might be due to my setup. I'm going to come back in a little bit, and we'll see if they get thicker. But, um, and what I mean by that is I'm going to put some more heat on it in a little bit. I want to see how it tastes at medium heat level and then at a higher heat level. Because that's one thing it seems to be with Alchemist, is that the heat level you give it, really dictates the flavor. It really alters. Yeah, let's see if we can get that any stronger. But right now what it is, is it's vanilla bean pod, kind of ice creamy. It is very much whorehound, mm, kind of sarsaparilla. So right now, we've got sarsaparilla float instead of root beer float. Let's see if I can kick it up anymore. Okay, I'm back, and the clouds have most definitely improved. It does want more heat. Very delicious. Very on par with the cloudage that uh, Alchemist usually cranks out, but... It's not the clouds we're here for.
it is the flavor, and it has evolved into a beautiful, yummy, yummy thing. It doesn't have a soda kick, and I'm definitely okay with that. Mmm. It is French vanilla sarsaparilla with pralines. It has a nutty creaminess to it that is gorgeous. I love it. So, I would rate this, uh, as far as flavor accuracy, um, eight, maybe seven, because it's not root beer soda float, which is what you think of when you hear float, but it is delicious to me. Change nothing. This is good. Um, yeah, if you like root beer, and I don't mean soda, if you like real root beer, and you like real sarsaparilla, and you're not turned off by French vanilla buttery butteriness, then this is a really nice shisha. I don't really know what else I could say about it. Besides, it really makes me want to go have a root beer to wash it down with, because it would complement just perfectly. So, um, yummy. As far as uh, newbie accessibility, it might be... It might be actually a little strong on the buzz for some newbies out there, but that's not a bad thing. And it might be a little drier, and most newbies are going to look for candy, candy, candy when we're talking about floats. So, no, it's not going to be that way, but I think many, 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 many fresh folks to hookah will enjoy this. Maybe not as much as some old hands, but yeah. That's good. All right. Until next bowl.